Ever since reading Jeff Olson's book, The Slight Edge, I've always been interested in creating a routine, specifically a morning routine in which I can gain energy, gather clarity of mind, uh, and generally have a better state of being throughout the day. Now, I've been reading a fair bit uh, by Joe, um, Joe Dispenza of late, and a lot of what he says really resonates, and certainly some of his meditation ideas I will be exploring further. Now, there's more research to be done in, in Joe and his methods, but what I love is his story, his story of his uh, entering a triathlon in the 80s, uh, being knocked off his bicycle, um, breaking his back in a number of places, being told he'll never walk again, deciding that he was going to exit the hospital at that point, thinking, well, whatever energy created the body, in other words, whatever energy brought him into the world, that same energy can cure his body, can heal his body. And lo and behold, after uh, quite a number of hundreds of hours of meditation on healing his body, bearing in mind he was a chiropractor, so therefore he had a very good understanding of the way his body was made up, his spinal column, uh, et cetera, et cetera, his vertebrae. And he was able to um, completely heal his back and he has become this guru, I suppose you might call him. So much of what he says I take on board and believe and I will be exploring further. Now, one of the things that he has stated, and I, I get this, is the problem with routine is that when it becomes a habit, then your present future is really just a reproduction of the past. In other words, your brain goes into that subconscious mode of following the same traits, the same um, habits every day, and no longer are you conscious, no longer are you becoming uh, a evolved human being because your, your brain is following the same path. So that really made me think this morning, and I was talking about it actually with a friend of mine. Um, we, we both uh, got up fairly early, sort of had a, a nice 5.30 in the morning Zoom chat with him online. And what it meant was actually that involuntarily this morning, because I had this early morning interweb chat with my friend, it meant that my routine was changed somewhat. So I only had time to brew my black coffee and drink that during the conversation. So I hadn't done my yoga moves, my power breathing, my cold shower, my gamma mindset, all the other things that I like to do. And what happened was... Number one, the first thing to mention, if you're into Wim Hof, then drinking black coffee prior to doing the power breaths and the cold shower have a really interesting effect. The great thing about the Wim Hof method is that in the first month, you have some profound feelings, experiences, awakenings, you might say. Uh, uh, you absolutely feel these surges of energy. Then, obviously, as your body gets used to it, that dissipates somewhat. The cold shower is always a nice thing to do and you do feel good, but you no longer have those significant highs. However, this morning, drinking my two mugs of black coffee, which I'm sure would give anybody a high, when you combine that with the power breathing, a yoga moves and the, uh, the cold shower, wow, I felt good. So there is a tip for you Wim Hoffers, try that if you don't do that already. Chuck in the black coffee prior to doing those, uh, uh, that part of your method in the morning. It is good. Now, that in itself was good, but it meant that obviously I switched up my routine a bit and I changed it around. It's made me think now this is what I'm going to do. I'm not necessarily always going to drink coffee before I do those, um, those things, but I am going to every day trick, or not trick the mind, but keep my mind guessing as to what I'm going to be doing next. So stick with the same routine, but I'm going to move it around a bit. So, so there isn't the same thing every day. I'm not following the same path. So... Evolution of Dave signing off with some what I think are interesting insights. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.